Hello guys, it's Nicholas speaking. Welcome to the first tutorial of this year. Today I will show you how you can create this subscribe form, for example for email marketing. This form it has the name, the field for the name, email, submit button, and very important thing, this checkbox. Also, it is a mobile ready, so check this out. Okay. Without further ado, let the fun begin. First, let's create the contact form. This is the contact form 7 plugin. I forgot to mention that on the beginning, sorry. So, after installing this plugin, click here to add new. Let's type here the name. And here let's paste the prepared code. So let me explain. It is very handful when you have one div which contains all of these elements, the, the name, the email and submit for the button. Also, also this is the part for the check checkbox. So we, uh, here we have the div with the class of acceptance wrapper there and this is the closing tag and here we have the label with specific class and with the span actually with the acceptance content for element and this is the link and this one here okay in this main div we have three divisions first one is for the name with placeholder the second one is for email and third one is the for submit button and this here is the mark for the let me check yeah this is the mark for unicode icon this envelope envelope okay uh, so next stuff next thing let's save our form here and let's copy this short code i'm using the elementor but you can use this plugin and short code for the custom team or any other page builder including gutenberg so i've added here i've added the short code and paste my short code for the contact form for the subscribe form actually yeah, now it's very ugly but don't worry soon it will be very nice so let's again let's refresh our page and go to the customizer okay we are ready this is the css for my previous tutorials you can explore that in my on my channel and here we need to paste our first chunk of css are you ready yeah so let me explain here for this specific ID we need to find our ID because each of form in the contact form 7 it has a specific ID in this case this is our ID uh, on your screen on your case uh, it will be different so this is the way you can find it so paste this ID here and you can see the changes. So let me explain this. We target our ID and the specific class WPCF7-4 and add some CSS. Display flex, flex direction, justify content. We don't need this line. Max width is the is 900 you can set 1200 but in my case it will be 900 and this line is for center next chunk it will be main div if you remember here around our fields we have division with class of main div okay you see the changes right here we have some margin on the top. Again, display flex, justify content space inwardly and align items center. If you want to know more about CSS, 
actually about Flexbox. You can Google it out. Now let's paste this line, which do this. We have retargeted all divisions inside main div and added this flex property. So next part is this for the acceptance wrapper. But for this, we need, I think, a specific part. And just type with me main div acceptance wrapper and we need to target spam and we need to move the break rule let me show you here in this part in this spam we have beer tag so if we type display none that is what I want so here let's type that let's click on publish and refresh this page okay nothing is happened okay now what we need next mm, let me check this yes we need this line of code now it's better so we are ready for the next step let's add some css for the these two fields here your name email and submit button here we have we remove the border had our border bottom only remove the border radius and make the background transparent so be patient a few seconds more and with this we have our button with background color with border border radius and so on now we need to move our wp uh, our spinner let me check you this spinner there so we need to do this these are the comments let's publish to save our code and refresh this page okay and now when we check this uh, checkbox our spinner is here that's good again let's move this text here for the validation okay and now let's add some hover property for this button You see, we have orange color without border on the hover. Next, we need to check to add this orange color there. Let's copy some code for the email and text. See now, our placeholders and border button are orange. Again, let's remove the padding because I want to move those words, this placeholder to the left a little bit. Then I think, what about ac uh, acceptance custom division? I want to remove this padding here actually. Hmm. I think I added this code yes there let me remove it and let's remove this padding left because i want to move this to remove this padding but i think in the responsiveness mode uh, we will add it back okay and we need to change this 
again let me activate this form we need to change the border and text the color of the text there with this code let's add important because we need to overwrite the universal custom form 7 style again let's refresh and we are ready for the responsiveness part so let's see how let's see our form on the page this is the original one let's refresh it and let's see the responsiveness so not good see okay we need to add some code first let's add the media query this one that means that on the screen sizes under the 786 these rules will be applied so we change the flex direction to the column to stack our elements one on top on, uh, of another then we change the margin and so on let me check let me let me show you to see now it's much better but we we have some problem here with this checkbox because our id has been changed so let's go to the top and paste this specific id here and there okay let's save it again refresh now it's much better you see yeah if you want to reduce this padding or margin let me show you how you can do that for example we added this chunk of css with margin bottom of 30 pixels you can reduce it to the 20 or 10 in this here and i think that's this is okay so this is the end of this tutorial guys next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can collect this data names and emails in the email marketing service like miller light in a specific group of course if this tutorial was helpful to you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye